We all know that oil and water don't mix, but does your oil sink or float on water? Stick around to learn a cool science experiment that you can try at home. Each essential oil has a different density, but often those differences in density are so small that you can't really notice it with the naked eye. Density is one of the things that we measure in our quality control processes. Luckily, our instruments are sensitive enough to be able to see the different densities between the essential oils. But even better, there's a really cool experiment we can do to demonstrate it using ordinary objects. All you would need to do this at home is a glass container, an essential oil, and a dropper. So to demonstrate this, we're simply going to add the oil to the water. Most essential oils are less dense than water. That means when I add them to the water, they're just going to float right on top. See how the lemon just makes a slick on top of the water? No mixing at all. Less dense than water. However, not every oil is less dense than water. Take wintergreen for instance. When I put wintergreen in water, watch what happens. See how the bubbles are forming on the bottom of the water? That's because wintergreen oil is actually more dense than water. Cinnamon is a very interesting essential oil. Because it's just barely more dense than water, it'll do some very interesting things when I add it. Watch what happens. See how the cinnamon oil is floating on top, but it's bowing down inside the water? Water has a really cool property called hydrogen bonding, which acts like a net and can hold things up that are even more dense than water. That's why some insects can actually float on top of water even though they're more dense. By testing density as part of our quality control process, we're able to make sure the oils don't have adulterants, additives, and that they do have the right density that they should. It's one more way we're able to provide the highest quality essential oil for you.